Hello there. This is my shoemate that I just recently restored. And I said that I was going to do a hunting uh, video on this razor. This is my Norton 4K 8K. I already set the bevel on a 1K Suhiro. So we're going to go ahead and move to the 4K stone. Now this razor, this side, this part of the heel uh, kind of lifts a little bit. The geometry is not as clean as I thought it was. There's just a little bit going on here but I think if I put it this way to the home that that will take care of itself we shall see and I'm honing toward a smile you notice I'm not just going I'm actually going this way and moving the blade that way. That's a good habit, in my opinion, to get into. Uh, it keeps you from or helps to keep you from creating a frown. I also tend to think that it helps to get the toe a lot more fully And I'm not using any pressure. This hand is here. Or this finger, that finger is there. Let me open up the, there, that's better. But this is sort of just a counterbalance. Now, if you don't have a loop, and I have a loop, so I'm going to look. But you can take and turn the blade in the light and see that bevel. You can see the shininess of that bevel if you turn it in the light properly. And you can see where there might be a problem. Remember, I said there was a little bit, if you look right there at the heel, as this thing moves in the light, if I can get it there. Well, I had it just a minute ago. Anyway, you can see there's just a bit of difference in the polish there. So I want to take a loop and look at that really closely. So that I can kind of have a look at what's happening. In that area. I 
So, what I find is I need to work on a little bit on the heel here on both sides. So, what I'll do is I'll put my finger here and my thumb there. And that should be plenty, about 10 passes. Let's look at it again. That's beautiful. I don't know if I can get it in the light. But you see now, that edge looks even. All along its length. That's what you're looking for. Like I said, you can do it with a strong light. Uh, it was done that way for many, many years. Before we got all these lighted loops and magnifying lenses and microscopes and all that jazz and look I'm not saying don't use them I encourage you to use at least a loop a 30 power or higher loop but honing is something that is in my opinion I know people look at it and say well it's more technical it is or it isn't this or that or the other uh yeah there's a technical aspect to it that you need to understand in order to home but in my opinion and experience it's also an art form. Now, it's not a mysterious art form that you and I and everybody else just can't comprehend. And it's best left to these gurus that somehow have a magic touch. And you can learn. How to home. It's an art form that's not beyond your reach. So don't believe that. Don't think that, and I'm going to pay some attention to that heel again. That should be that should be lovely, actually. I want to pay a little bit of attention to the toe.
And all I'm doing is doing a reverse. And you need to have your technique down if you're going to do this. Because that razor needs to stay flat to this. If you do it like this, you're going to create a frown. All right. Alright, let's try that. And I'm just, you can't see me. I'm off camera now. But I'm just seeing how it cuts the hair on the back of my hand, my arm, that kind of deal. That's ready to move on. The scratch pattern from the 1K was gone a long time ago. I just wanted to pay particular attention to certain parts of the blade uh, because looking at it under a loop and feeling how it was cutting the hairs on my the back of my arm, the back of my hand, uh, there were areas that needed needed attention, and that's something. The biggest thing you need to learn when honing. One of the biggest things you need to learn when honing is that just passing a razor over the stone in the next pattern or circles or whatever it is you want to use might not be enough. Sometimes there are certain areas of that blade that will require more attention to detail. Uh, and now we're to finishing. And what we're going to do is very, very lightly, really feather light, we're going to do some passes on this stone.
looking at that edge see what it looks like under a loop it's coming along you see this other side Yeah, we need to go some more. And what I'm doing is erasing the pattern or 4k scratches on that bevel all the way along that bevel All right, see what that looks like. Lovely. Beautiful all along the edge. What's it doing on my, on the hair on the back of my hand? Lovely. That is ready for the finishing stone. And the finishing stone today is going to be my Escher. With just plain water.
Lovely. All right. I think that's going to be beautiful. Let me look. Let's look at the, if I can. You can see that bevel. If I can get it. It's just a mirror. It's ready to go. All right, let's look. Beautiful. All right. That's it. Pull that tape. That's a Schumacher or uh, the Shoemate honing. She is ready. Or stropping. And a test shade. Alright, thank you for watching. God bless you. And I will talk to you later.